Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's the reason for the season. Pumpkin Porter is a 6.5% porter from Big Lake Brewing in Holland, Michigan. Now I know there are some people who, you know, they either hate pumpkin beer, and I know there are other people that just really love them. I'm really just right in the middle of that whole debate. I, if it's a good beer, I really don't care what's in it. I don't care what the style of it is. If it's good, I'm going to drink it. Without all being said, I think this is the first pumpkin porter I've ever had. Definitely the first pumpkin beer I've had this year because I'm just really not looking out for it, but I don't hate them. But with all that being said, let's take a look at the label. We'll get into a glass. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Brian Kramer, David Jeffries, Chad Shirk, and Cam Freeman for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe just throw me a couple bucks, buy me a beer. Take a look at my Patreon at patreon.drafttherapy.com, where you can get early access to these videos and a few other special perks that are available only to patrons. Take a look at this label. We'll start from the front. Across the top, it says Big Lake Brewing in Holland, Michigan. It has the Big Lake Brewing logo, which is Lake Michigan on the west coast of Michigan. Michigan's also on there on the west coast there in this logo. It says Pumpkin Porter, and it has these spooky, scary pumpkins and in the background, it looks like it's against a full moon that's kind of rising with some trees without any leaves, a couple tombstones. These pumpkins are kind of, you know, they're cartoony. They have a, a scary pumpkin, a scared pumpkin, and an even scarier pumpkin. And then on the side here, it almost looks like it's a tombstone that has the candon date of August 30th, 2021. If we look at the side here, it has certified Michigan-only brewery. This, I've, I don't think I've ever seen that on any beer other than uh, Big Lakes stuff. It has the independent craft beer logo, full-bodied porter with pumpkin, the American flag, one pint, 16 fluid ounces. It says dive in, which is their slogan. And then Holland, Michigan, biglakebrewing.com and the deposit in Michigan and the government warning. Um, there is no ABV on this actual label. I had to look it up on, on uh, Big Lake's website. So I found it there. It does say six and a half percent. I'm going to grab uh, my draft therapy Tiku glass. We're going to go ahead and crack this and put a nose on it because that's what we do here. And uh, let's see what kind of smells we're getting out of this. So this is a porter. It's not a stout. So I don't expect it to be super thick. But let's put a nose on it. It has a lot of a pumpkin aroma coming out. I, I say a lot of a pumpkin aroma. It's not like a pumpkin spice aroma. You, that's, you know, it's not that. It smells like pumpkin. There is a little hint of cinnamon in there. Maybe even a hint of nutmeg, so maybe it is pumpkin spice after all. That's all those aromas, right? I think there's vanilla in there too in, in a traditional pumpkin spice. Let's go ahead and pour this. Coming out really nice and dark out of the can. A little on the thin side, I can see through the stream of this beer. We're gonna go ahead and let that pour. There's, I've got probably about maybe a quarter of the can left in here. We'll top it off there. Looking at it, we got about two fingers of head. The, the head is actually pretty dark. I was thinking, you know, this would be a bit of a lighter head, a little more of a tan. This is almost a little bit uh, borderline coffee colored. It looks like a stout. Pouring it, the head makes me think, oh, you know, if I didn't know this is a porter, I would think it's a stout. I'm not really smelling much aroma just coming off the glass, but if we hold it up to the light here, very dark. I'll hold it over here a little bit too. To you, this probably looks very black. To me, it looks very dark too. There is a bit of a reddish kind of color on the bottom on the bulb of this glass. Uh, let's go ahead and put a nose on the glass. Okay, so now I'm getting a little bit of a darker, roasty, malty aroma. Getting that cinnamon, getting a little bit of pumpkin. Maybe a little bit of nutmeg, but there was one other smell I was getting in here. And it's more of like a dark fruit, like a raisin kind of aroma. But it also smells a little chocolatey, so it's got a, a, it's got a very complex aroma. There's a lot of different kind of smells going on in there. So I'm interested to try this out to see if a lot of those smells are translating on the taste. So cheers. So we'll start with the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is uh, on the crisper side. It's kind of, it's pretty light, actually. Uh, it's not really, it's a little bit close to medium, but it's, it's definitely on the lighter side. It's, it's kind of got a bit of a, a thinner mouthfeel, which is to be expected for a porter. Uh, again, it's not a stout. Stouts and porters are s relatively close, but stouts are generally a little bit, little bit thicker. Uh, porters are a little bit on the lighter side. 
But I want to talk about the taste because this is very interesting. Um, it's let me get another sip and I'll talk about the taste. The taste on this is very rich, dark chocolate. Like uh, it's one of the stronger roasty chocolatey porters that I've had in a long time. I can't think of another porter that's quite this full body. Now on this label, it does say full body porter with pumpkin. The pumpkin is there, but the upfront taste, most of the taste that I get out of this is that really dark, really roasty, smoky, malty flavors. Uh, there is a, and, and that kind of lends itself with also that kind of porter taste to add this kind of chocolatey, like really deep, rich, chocolatey flavor. I'm not picking so much up on the cinnamon that I was getting on the nose. I'm getting a little bit of like a cinnamon, a little bit of a nutmeg, a little bit of a pumpkin on the swallow and a little bit on the aftertaste, but the aftertaste is very big, still very roasty, very chocolatey uh, flavors. It's, it's not quite like any porter that I can really think of. Porters are generally like even in the flavor um, you know, arena, they're a lot lighter flavored than this. So this is really full, full body, you know, definitely going with what it says on the label. And even the pumpkin is like, it's there. Um, but it's really, really buried. Like the, there's, there's a bit of a, a, a sweet, the pumpkin adds a little bit of a sweetness to it. It adds a little bit of the cinnamon. It adds a little bit of that nutmeg, but it's really overpowered. This beer is really overpowered with um, a lot of that uh, chocolatey, roasty, really deep, rich, roasty um, malts. You know, it's it's just not that uh, it's not that sweet. It's not that light. Like the flavor, the mouthfeel is crisp. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but the flavor, you will not mistake this for being light at all. And I have to say, because I haven't had a porter quite like this um, in a very long time, like the most recent porters I can think of are more on that lighter side. This does have that kind of typical porter flavor, but again, it's buried and it's in the aftertaste. And that's actually what kind of, I like this because it's different in that respect. You get still get those porter notes. So if you go into this thinking you're just going to get a straight up porter, I think you're going to be surprised because it's it's just got so much deep, rich, roasty, chocolatey, like bitter chocolate characteristics and just a little hint of pine or pineapple, a little hint of pumpkin. So if you were like going into this thinking you're going to get a regular, you know, flavored porter and, you know, but with a lot of pumpkin on it, the pumpkin is really very subtle. It's not in your face. It's very kind of subdued. Everything is very subdued, except except for that roasty malty flavor, that chocolatey flavor, it almost makes me think that this maybe wasn't supposed to, be, I'm just, this is pure conjecture, right? I'm just speculating and, you know, take it for what it's worth. But it almost makes me feel like this maybe wasn't gonna, you know, they weren't gonna be, a, this wasn't gonna be a pumpkin porter and they kind of added pumpkin into it to, to, to kind of pull it into like a pumpkin porter. It seems like it's just a really deep, rich, roasty, malty porter and if if those kind of flavors turn you off if that's not something that you look for in beer in general if you're thinking you're going to get a lighter beer i think you might want to stay away from this one but if you kind of don't mind getting those really rich roasty malty chocolatey flavors uh it, i mean it's really very on that chocolatey like bitter chocolate angle right so if that's not something you're into i think you probably want to avoid this one but if you're looking to go a little bit more you know maybe something that's pumpkin inspired, but not so pumpkin forward. I think this one would fit that bill. All right, friends, that has been Pumpkin Porter from Big Lake Brewing. Have you had this beer before? Or do you have a strong feelings about pumpkin in beer or pumpkin beers in general? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell. I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. Also want to give a big shout out to my buddy Dave for providing this beer. I saw it in his fridge this weekend. And I thought, I haven't had this beer before, and he hadn't had it, so I wanted to try it to show it to you guys here today. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. Most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.